Anyway, in this video, we're going to do polished combustion chambers. I've already done one on this head. I'm just going to show you the process of how I went about doing it. Let's see. And one thing you got to watch, you take your die grinder and whatever you're using, you can slip and come out here on that surface. As you can see, I did a little bit. It didn't hurt it. It was just polishing wheels. But as a precaution, I'm going to cover the surface around the next port that I'm going to do in this video is duct tape. Good sticky duct tape. Do that. I'm going to get an outline going in there. That way if I slip, the tape will help protect that surface. I got a razor blade right here. I thought I was going to hunt for it. I'll take a razor blade, trim around that. And that'll be it. Now the whole idea of polishing these combustion chambers is just smooth it out. Now this is not a perfect professional job that you might pay some very expensive head porting guy to do. This is just me trying to improve what I got. Now, originally, here's what they look like, as you can see. Now, this one, as you can see right there, is a big bump. And there's another bump right about here, I think. We'll see it when I get the tape cut out of the way. But I just want to get the uh, porous casting surface out, smooth it out. As you can see, I didn't get it all. Kind of hard to see under the tape. There's a little bit, that's the hardest part to get to, which is right about here. Uh, didn't get it all, but it's a big improvement, and I mostly want to get these casting slags out of here, too. So that's what we're shooting for here. So now, I'm going to take our razor blade. Hopefully it's a good sharp one. It's pretty decent. I'm just going to cut around that outline in there. that way. Hopefully, so even if it digs through a little bit, it's still going to kind of protect that surface. So. And sorry about, if you can hear any fan noise, I won't know until I edit when you really can. I'm pretty sure you can. i got a fan right not too far from the camera. Uh, sorry about that. I do have my big evaporative, evaporative cooling fan turned off because it makes a lot of fan noise. And that's the sacrifice I'm making to make this video because it is very humid. It's been like this for like two or three weeks. That thing has killed my motivation to get anything done. You work all day in a hot metal building in that heat and kind of fan towards me and it's just hard to make yourself go back out there after work and get in it again. In this kind of weather you do only what you have to do sometimes. So first thing I want to do is slide this around. You can see me swapping bits here. I'm going to use this bit right here is a sanding bit. A little rougher than I like, but it's all I got. So there'll be some sanding scratches that I probably won't be able to polish all the way out. Not easy. But I mostly just want to knock the slag out. Let's see. Okay, now we're ready to do some grinding here. Wash my glasses. I gotta put my dust mask on so my voice will be muffled. Good idea to wear some kind of a dust mask or respirator because it's aluminum and grinding and sanding dust isn't good to breathe. But most, I'm gonna knock that little punk out. If you can see it, I think maybe you can. I'm gonna work on getting it out first. I just wanna get this porous surface off of there, with that sanding disc.
And that knocked that right off. Let's quit. I'm going to try to avoid hitting the valve. You see I'm hitting it a little bit, but it's nothing that can't be polished off. These old grinders here. Sometimes that piece gets stuck in there. But the base of it, you just hit it a little bit, comes right out. And we're gonna, we're gonna try this one. It's a little worn on the corner, but might be a good thing. Oh, it is. Here's what the mandrel looks like. With that, it just goes in there and you screw those tapered rows on like that. And actually, on this one, I shorten it a little bit because when you wear that down, that metal starts to stick through and it starts scratching the surface up. Now, we're going to try to get these little corners out of here a little better. Won't be perfect. So I'm getting closer to the valve. Poor surface area. I'm not going to get it all. If I wanted to take a rest and pull that valve out, I don't know if I'm not going to. Get the rest. On this one, I did. So, let's see. Let's try a different bit. That one's kind of come on roll. I don't know if that'll work better or not. It's possible, it's not always possible. If you want a good, uniform, smooth surface, it's, if you notice up here, it's kind of going all over the place. It's not the best, you know, all in all different directions. It's not the best way to do it. If you want a good, uniform surface, you want to um, kind of just go like that. Travel, cut it in the same direction, pick it up, and start over. Do it like that. It's kind of hard to do up here. take my time. I could uh, do a lot better on this and get, on, get everything out. But it's already September. I would like to have this thing together and running before the racing season is over. Pretty much me doing any competitive racing is out for this year. Because weather permit, I'll be lucky if I get to race a full month in October. So, oh, my main goal here with these combustion chambers, I didn't even plan on doing this when I rebuilt the engine. It's just to smooth these out. I just want to do something to make an improvement because everything else is just a freshen up job of what I had. So, we'll see. Now, the next thing we do, I'm pretty much tucking out all the roughness I'm going to get out that I'm willing to take the time to do. 
So now we got to change to our polishing bits. And I'll show you that. What I ended up getting. I bought some some that seemed to work. Get that out of the way I cut myself. Seemed to work pretty good. I bought them from Summit. Here's the mandrel that I ordered. I think you got to order a mandrel separate. Again, got this from Summit too. And to take these polishing bits off, there's a little set screw in here. You need to screw them off. Come off like that. Let's see if I can remember which is fine. Okay, the red ones are, as you can see, very fine. You see it right there. And these blue ones are a medium. I want to start with a medium. I'm going to get a new one. Or at least from Summit. I forgot how much they cost. You can look it up through Summit. But uh, I like them. They're really small. Get in tiny little corners. And they work pretty darn good. Now, we'll switch to the other, to the finer. You want to get it done faster, it's, it's faster if you are kind of wasteful. <laughs> switch a new bit for each port. If you want to be cheap and buff on it all day, you can do it that way, I guess. Really, this doesn't take that long. Bad. 
like I said, it's not perfect. Uh, maybe a professional shot would frown on this. But then again, I think it's still an improvement over this. And I'm not going to pay a professional for anything. I don't want to spend that kind of money. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the other two. Show you what it all looks like, and we'll call it a video. Alright, so we got them all done. And one thing I did different from what I showed you when I did this combustion chamber right here, I used that rough bit that I showed you. Where is that thing at? Right here. And it did take it out quicker, but what I noticed is if I used these little guys, which are finer, here's a comparison. Uh, I got a better finish. I did these two after the one that I videoed, and you can, you can still see those marks right there. I don't think I'm going to go back and redo them because still it's a big improvement over what it was. Uh, yeah, I know they won't all be perfectly matched, but it's not like we're a pain to have this thing put on a flow bench and trying to squeeze ridiculous amounts of ET out of it. We're just trying to make an improvement over what we had. I am a low budget racer, so before you criticize anything I do, remember that. I'm not one of those guys who spend thousands and thousands of dollars to go five hundredths quicker on ET. So we're just looking to uh, use what we got and make it a little better. And you'd be surprised what guys like me can make their cars run like. But anyway, that's all this video. All this video was about was polishing combustion chambers. And everything was like I showed you, except I just used a finer bit to rough out the uh, rough casting surface. So the next video we make will be lapping these valves. These are in pretty good shape already, so it won't take long. And I'll show you what I do on that.